Sorry, folks. Um, coming at you today, I want to do a, a little video about a unique little muzzle loader, kind of an antique now. Uh, it's called an H&R Huntsman. They were made back in the 70s, and this particular one is a 45 caliber. Um, it's based on the H&R design as far as it's a brake barrel, but instead it takes a primer and of course it's a front stuff. Um, like I said, this is a 45. They made them starting about, uh, I think, 1971, and they came in a 45 caliber, a 58 caliber, and I think they had either a 12 or a 20 gauge uh, muzzleloader shotgun. In fact, I think it was probably the predecessor to these. But originally, they took like uh, just a standard muzzleloader cap, percussion cap. Um, now this one here has had a conversion done to it because it has the setup for a 209 primer. Now H&R still does make these, or did make these, in a 50 cal, and of course it was a more modern style set up just for 209. But like I said, this is one of the old ones. Of course it's got the old straight stock. It's not a pretty thing. You know, I picked it up on a deal. Uh, muzzle order season coming here in just the next couple of days for where I'm at and so I brought it out to shoot it, sight it in, see if it needs anything and we'll just give her a go but you know uh, I'm a big fan of the H&R stuff. Um, Carrington Richard made, Richardson made tons of good serviceable break open uh, rifles, shotguns and of course muzzle won't find very many of these floating around anywhere. This one's definitely had some use on it, but uh, you know, one of those kind of things where when they do away with something, and they were probably the predecessor to the true inline when you come right down to it, but they did away with it because it didn't catch on, and then, you know, a decade later the inline was the hottest thing. So, this is probably the predecessor to the modern you know, inline shotgun, or inline muzzle. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I'll show you some groupings and stuff. Uh, maybe if I get it tuned in, um, I'm going to shoot a 440 ball with it. Uh, got my Costles bag here, and I probably will not shoot any kind of a. I think it's a. From what I've understood, it has a one in 56 twist on the barrel. Um, there was some out there that were prototyped for a. Like a 1 in 26 twist or 1 in 24 twist, like the modern day inlines are. Uh, the rifling is real clear on this. Now, something that's very unique to this is now not all these were designed this way, but this breech plug just pushes in. It has a rubber o ring in here, and that's what seals the gases in. It's, it's allowed to come back against the receiver when it's closed, but if you pop it up, as you can see, it can escape if you would have a hang fire or something like that. Now some of the earlier models on the 58s and probably the 45s too, uh, they actually broke all the way open like a shotgun. And they said that one thing to be very careful with is if you ever had a hang fire and you cracked it open, because all these things were actually held in there, that breech plug is actually just a piece of stainless steel where your cap goes and it could actually pop back out. Whether it's ever happened or not is debatable, but just one of those things I wanted to show you. Um, like I said, this is a 45 cal. Uh, I haven't worked up a load for it or anything like that. I'm going to start out at about 50 grains of powder and work my way up until I get something that hits in the sweet spot. What I'm looking for is something probably to shoot around 80 yards max. Most of my shots out here in this woods I usually have never pulled more than 50 yards so you know I'm not looking for some long distance high powered rifle and I know some of these newer tech muzzle loaders are capable of that but with the type of barrel twist that this has it's really suited for a round ball uh, the slower the twist the slower it spins so you use a passion round ball the faster it twists like a 1 in 24, which means it twists 
one time in 24 inches, where this one rifling only twists one time in 56 inches. So, you know, huge difference. Uh, it's not spinning the ball so fast, so that's why you want to use a ball instead of a conical projectile. Now, I assume the conical projectiles will probably shoot out of this just fine, but, you know, I'm not going to try it. I'm kind of old school, you know, it's just one of those things where I'll try and work up a load, get it to shoot the best I can, and like I said, I'll show you the results when we're done. Thanks. Okay, folks, this is... Uh, First three shots I took with the uh, Huntsman. Um, like you can see, down here close to it. Shooting a little bit high. Might have been me pulling a little bit to the right. I'm not sure. Those two were the first two shots that are on the right. The third shot was pretty well dead center, but a little high. Um, I was using a 440 ball. But I didn't patch it. I was just doing a quickie. Um, I know it's shooting probably about five inches high. I'm using 70 grains of powder, uh, just Pirate X rifle powder. So, you know, I'm going to tune it around a little bit and probably run some patches down through it, clean it up, see what I can get it to actually do with a patch ball. And, uh, you know, but anyways, I just want to show it to you, let you know that it is a shooter. It's definitely capable of holding some decent groups. Now, this is at about only 25 yards or so, so it's not like I'm shooting bench rest accuracy or anything like that with it, but it's definitely going to be my deer slayer this year. Thanks for watching, folks. If you like the video, give me a like and share it, would you please? Thank you.